when Tiff was young, and I was too, uh, I used to work here. I was what they, uh, first I was the gala coordinator, then the theater coordinator. Those are jobs that don't really exist anymore. But I worked uh, during festival season, uh, making sure the theaters run smoothly. People came in and out uh, without too many, too much conflict and movies started on time and uh, celebrity guests got in and out and uh, uh, it was a challenging job. Uh, it would be even more challenging today, but uh, I remember there was w one year, a particularly tough year, uh, when uh, my first film, Roadkill, the first film I wrote was screening also at the festival and it was a memorable day for me when I took off my lanyard, my staff lanyard, and, and put on my guest pass and walked into my first movie and it premiered very well. I mean, I love the film circuit. I think it's fantastic. I just think generally it's harder and harder to see movies, just that sort of support. Well, it never was that easy to see foreign films or art films or even Canadian films outside of the big cities. It's hard now, even in the big cities. People think of me as Mr. Urban, Mr. Toronto, and I guess there's some truth. I love the city, but I also always have loved the country. I've spent a lot of time in the country, and uh, it was great shooting out there. It certainly was an incredibly seductive environment, coming back to my little traditional Newfoundland house and after work, barbecuing on the porch and watching the whales frolic. Uh, I definitely thought I could get into that life. Uh, you know, there were complications with being so far from a city, complications being in a little town and trying to house our cast and our crew and get our equipment out there, but it was certainly worth it for the stuff we got and for the vistas and for the people.